Good morning, sir. If you could, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. It's Lieutenant Christian Sharp, last name spelled S-H-A-R-P. Thank you, sir. We had a pursuit this morning. Can you talk about it? Yeah, about 7.30 this morning, one of our patrol officers uh, came across a car that was committing a traffic violation as it was going southbound on Fairmont Avenue by Sumac. Uh, the officers attempted to pull the car over. The car fled, and we pursued the car. The car uh, went on to eastbound 94, got up to very high speeds, and attempted to take the Kelton Street exit. But as you can see behind me, it looks like the car did not negotiate the turn onto the on-ramp to get back onto 94, launched itself off into the goalie behind me where it rolled a couple times. Our officers went down, uh, extricated the driver and the passenger, got them into custody, and then uh, right now we're having medical uh, personnel treat uh, the driver and the passenger. And it looks like the passenger's gonna be a juvenile, the driver is going to be in custody for the felony evading. Uh, it's still kind of early on in the investigation. We're trying to determine whether the car is stolen. Uh, and at this point, it looks like uh, the passenger and the driver both have very minor injuries. Uh, so we are very thankful for that, and we're thankful to get them into custody. And we saw that the car caught on fire. Did the police officers try to put the fire out, or are they waiting for the fire department? Well, initially we had we were trying to find some fire extinguishers. Some of the brush was starting to catch on fire, but fire personnel were very quick. So they got here, were able to extinguish the fire, and then provide medical aid to the driver and passenger. Anything you'd like to add, sir? No. Thank you so much for your time. Yes. Your first patient's always on.